Hello YouTubers and welcome back to the channel. Right, I thought I'd do a quick update video on the uh, ESP8266, I think it is, board that I did a video of uh, yesterday. Right, I've added some more features, or not really features, I've added something to it and jiggled it about a bit and I think it's actually taking in a bit more shape now. Right, here's the board here, let's just turn it over. What I've added is a uh, 128 by 32 OLED display. I can unplug this. I, I actually changed this header. It was a male header. I've changed it to a female header. And now I've got that. So that just plugs in nicely there. I'll show under the microscope. We've got ground, VCC. SCL, SDA, and these go to ground 3.3, D4, D3. I've obviously associated these pins of the I squared C in software. I've also moved the, uh, I think it was D2 we used for this sensor. What I've made is this very rough adapter. Let's try and get a bit of focus. But yeah, this does some switching from the 3.3 ground and this line here, which is a D10. So we're now actually our serial from the sensor is coming in on D10 for a very dodgy uh, adapter which I might put some resin or something here, here just to strengthen that up a bit. The idea of this I thought most of the heat's going to be in this section so if this is like this we keep the heat up here and we we'll measure the temperature down here because we don't want this to actually give us a false reading. Right let's power it on. It's actually obviously pulling a bit more power now and got a power bank here which will stay on right, we in focus on the mi microscope you can probably see it's a bit flickery uh, on the video you can't see that to the human eye it's just the way uh, the uh, camera video is taken as you can see 27 degrees C 38 percent we have knocked off the uh, point zero. I did look up the spec on the uh, DHT11 and it's a resolution of one degree C etc so we was never going to get anything other than point zero so there was no point in showing it. The degree sign comes out a bit funny but it's understandable. I can, you, can, you can see what it is but it's quite nice isn't now a nice little module it's a very small footprint really and it's got its own display own sensor and if I make a few of these and have these around the rooms probably mounted in little boxes or something this is going to be a great way of actually getting data from around the house of what the temperature is so we can then do something with it okay thanks for watching the update hope it was useful I will post the sketch. The link will be down below in the uh, comments. Uh, and again, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed.